Hi and welcome along to After Effects Tutorials. Uh, today I want to begin by just taking a look at some of the basic um, transformation uh, tools that we have within After Effects and these pretty much form the basis of all our animations. Most things that we do uh, when we animate we tend to make things bigger, smaller, become invisible, move from one place to the other or rotate. So we really have some um, tools here that will form the basis of most of our animations. I'm just going to take a look at some of those very quickly here. So the first one I want to talk about is position. So before I get started, I've set up four separate pieces of text on four separate layers. So position, um, very simply, um, we're going to set up a keyframe for this position and take it from one side of the screen to the other. So very simply I can drop down to my uh, roll down uh, arrows if you like and find my transformation uh, options here. And as you can see I've got all of these transformation options and position scale and opacity and so forth. Shortcutting, if I want to hit just position I can hit P. So that's going to bring up the attributes for this uh, place on the timeline. So I'm going to hit my first keyframe here and I'm gonna bring my play head out along here. Now if I want to be exact and sometimes you do and sometimes it's not so necessary I can click into my little timepiece here and I'm gonna click in 100. That will stand for one second. If I hit another keyframe in here I can then move this guy across my screen to a position that I'd like. Um, alternatively, I could drag that as well. So I have two various options. So I have across and up and down, or X and Y if you prefer. X uh, along the decks and Y in the sky. That's the way I remember it anyway. So we're going there and we're going to move off position. Okay, pretty simple. So let's come down to my next one. So again, if you want to scale something, S for scale. Bang, and there is our shortcut. So I'm coming back to my um, uh, the beginning of my timeline, and I'm going to hit my keyframe. And again, I want all this thing to sort of line up. So I'm going to hit uh, one second on my keyboard, or 100. And I'm going to scale him. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to scale him way, way down, like so. OK. All right, so he's going to scale down at one second like that. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's shut that up and go to the rotation. So rotation, very simply, R for rotate, very easy to remember. Um, now I want to draw your attention to the little um, origin point if you like here, or the, uh, the axis from around everything will scale. If I was to drag this up now, it would drag from that bottom corner and it would rotate from that bottom corner. So sometimes that's what you want, sometimes that's not what you want. So, But to change that, very simply, we have the pan behind tool. Now I don't know why it's called that, but it is where we can change the anchor point. So we can pick that up and move that to a position that we would like to rotate this from. So then I can simply come across here and come back to my timeline, hitting my first uh, keyframe, and again I'm going to hit 100. I want all of this thing to synchronize properly and I'm going to say maybe within that one second uh, duration I want you to rotate twice so she'll rotate twice very good very good okay and then opacity very simply now I would have thought O for opacity but I guess not so it's it's actually T is going to bring up my opacity uh, sliders and just by the way if I hold shift um, scale, shift, rotate, shift, um, position. So shift with the, all those uh, things will bring them all up as well. So let's go that again. Just T on my keyboard and I'm going to hit my keyframe. Bang. And again, out to 100. And this is not, whoops, that's not 100. And uh, I can then hit my next keyframe in. And let's say the opacity is going to fade out to uh, something like that. Okay, pretty good. Okay, let's shut that up and have a quick look at this. And I'm just actually going to 
just have a look at that hitting taking back and hitting space and I'm getting all of my keyframes are working beautifully okay here's another little shot that, that I find very handy I've got all my layers selected and pressing U on my keyboard will reveal all of their changes all the positions or, or keyframes if you like so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the first uh, the, um, um, position and I'm going to come out to I think I'll come out to two seconds and I'm going to paste oops that's not what I want I'm going to copy that keyframe at the start so I've got my position keyframe like so copy that fellow come out to uh, two seconds and paste that keyframe so I'm going back to where I started from just doing that okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that with my next one so the scale keyframe remember pressing J will take me back to previous keyframes so I've got my first scaling um, keyframe I'm going to pop out again to two seconds and can't do yep I got an error there sometimes that can happen so I'm going to copy my keyframe and just copy that fellow and paste it back in there okay so that's coming back to the start lovely that's what I'm after and again for the rotation I'm going to come into my keyframe copy that keyframe there pressing K will take me to the next place and I'm going to paste that in there back to start and opacity again I'm going to copy that keyframe and paste that keyframe back so now I'm just going to trim this uh, up at the end here so basically with my timeline where I'll, all the action if you like I want to end I'm going to hit that and I'm going to put N on my keyboard and that will trim my work to that layer so there's my piece of scaling and rotation. So that's implementing all the basic transformation uh, possibilities within After Effects. So I hope that's been interesting and um, good luck and uh, keep practicing. I'll see you next time.